I think one thing we all have to do is be humble. Mm -hmm. That all of us, in any profession, we don't know what we don't know. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things I've enjoyed about your presentations is that you're being iterative. Mm -hmm. You're trying something in December and seeing how it works, seeing what feedback you get from the marketplace, seeing what feedback you get from the network, seeing what feedback you get, and then trying it again. Mm -hmm. And then off of the next little bit bigger iteration, you're gonna get feedback. Mm -hmm. And none of us really know what it's gonna look like in 2028, mm -hmm. but we all know that as we take steps, each iteration is gonna get better than the iteration before. Mm -hmm. And so I say, let's not get hung up on the first one or the second one or the fifth one, because sitting here in the US, the NBA that I see today isn't the NBA that I saw when I was 10 years old. It's changed and it's better and it's, it grows with the times. The ISL is gonna do the same thing. But in this age of technology, feedback loops and growth times are accelerated so much. So the, the growth and the, the change that I expect to see from the ISL every year is gonna be dramatic. And so I'm not hung up on what the ISL said they're gonna do after 2020 because I know that that's not what they're gonna do. That's a plan on, what they're gonna do is what the fans want, what the television wants, what the swimmers want, what the coaches want, it's gonna change. But when your basic commitment is to take care of athletes, to provide a drug-free environment, and to provide something great for swimming fans, let's get behind that. Oh, you guys have so much buzz right now. I, I feel like I'm in a, a beehive. Okay. Um, and, and frankly, you know, some of it's positive, some of it's negative, but you made your presence felt here. I think your openness to feedback was critical. I heard from some really important coaches that they heard your first presentation and it was, say, your fourth or fifth presentation, and today's was totally different than the first one. Mm -hmm. So people are acknowledging that they're hearing your feedback. And I think that is the most important thing in any relationship, that you be heard. The, the most important communication skill isn't talking, it's listening. And I think people felt like that you guys are listening. I think the, the, the negative things that are what happens after 2020, mm -hmm. that, wait a minute, you're coming and taking my kids and you're putting them with some other coach mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna see them again? Mm -hmm. That's not something to get enthusiastic about. Of course, of course. <laughs> um, and so that was probably the biggest thing. There are a million little things from the coaching point of view. Mm -hmm. a, an example would be if I was coaching you for the Olympic trials mm -hmm. and he was coaching you for the ISL, mm -hmm. well, maybe you're a 200 backstroker. Mm -hmm. And I want you to swim a fast one here, and then a fast one here, and another. I don't want you to swim it ever. But your ISL coach might say, I need you for the, you're gonna do it here and here and here. And by the time you get to the Olympic trial, you're just fried. Mm -hmm. You swam seven times a 200 backstroke. Mm -hmm. you're, you're dead on that event. Okay. So coaching things like that are a concern. Um, my personal viewpoint is, let's not get hung up on that stuff. Mm -hmm. That is three years down the road, eight years, that's all imaginary. Yeah. Let's focus on December. Mm -hmm. Let's focus on August of 2019. And then in the meantime, see how things go. There's gonna be a lot of feedback. This is all gonna change. I think the more you focus on 18 and 19 and the less on post-Tokyo, the more people are gonna get on board. I think the reality is post-Tokyo is a rabbit hole mm -hmm. because it, the real, from your point, it's all imagined. You have no idea. This is a plan. I have never seen a battle plan in the military or a business plan in business be five years from now what was really written on paper. Mm -hmm. right? It's just a plan. You're going to encounter reality, the realities of media, the realities of fans, the realities of athletes, the realities of coaches. Everything's going to change. But I look at drug-free sport, I look at fair compensation to the athletes, I look at delivering a fun, engaging experience to fans, that's what we need to focus on.